Hello again. So tonight, today, you are reading chapters three and chapter four. It is a total of 24 pages. So maybe you've already read your chapters. Maybe you want to read them after I read them out loud to you. Maybe you just want to listen to me read them instead of reading yourself. These are all great ways to participate in a book club. So make sure you have your book, especially if you want to look at the pictures. And I will begin reading on page 27, chapter 3. Also, if you are ever lost and like, oh, what page is that on? Remember that we have the table of contents right here. So if I say chapter 3, you look down in chapter 3, page 27 right there. All right. Chapter 3, whatevs. Ding dong. That evening, the doorbell rang. It was Desmond and his parents. And sure enough, his mom was carrying a casserole dish. I was super hungry, but that was probably the lasagna Desmond told me about. No, warned me about. Everyone introduced themselves and came inside. I made this for you, Mrs. Cole said, handing mom the dish. Cooking is the last thing you need to think about when you move to a new house. Mom thanked Mrs. Cole. Then she said, Andreas, why don't you show Desmond your new room? Okay, I said. I knew she just wanted to talk to the grown-ups without the kids around. And that was fine with me. On the way upstairs, Desmond stopped short. What's wrong? I asked. But he didn't say anything. Instead, he tapped the wall and put his ear to it. My panicky feeling came back. Well, what, what are you doing? What are you, uh, shh. He listened to the wall. Then he blew up puffs of air all around. After that, he licked his finger and held it up in the air. None of this made any sense to me. What are you doing? I finally asked. He shrugged. Oh, sorry. That's just something I do. Okay, I said. Whatevs. We walked into my room. Covering one wall was a gigantic poster of the entire solar system. The poster was so huge, it made my room feel like it was in outer space. Oh, wow, Desmond exclaimed. That's the coolest thing I ever saw. Yeah, my dad got it for me, I told Desmond. It's the first thing I put on my wall whenever we move. That poster made me feel, or made every place feel like home. You're a space fan, huh? Asked Desmond. What was your clue, Sherlock? I asked. We both laughed. Desmond looked around the rest of my room. So what brings you to Kersville? My parents are scientists working on a top secret project for the government. I said, oops, I probably shouldn't have told you that. Wait, seriously? Desmond asked. I nodded because really it was true. Your secret safe with me, he said. It must be cool to have top secret parents. Yeah, but we have to move a lot, I said. Normally, we don't even stay in the same town for a year. Kersville isn't normal, Desmond said. When people move here, they stay. I hope so, I said. That's what Mom called from downstairs. Hey, Andreas, Desmond's parents are leaving now. Before we left the room, Desmond tapped on the walls and blew out his breath. But this time, he jumped back as if he saw something. Huh? Was all he said. Then Desmond licked his finger and held it in the air again. Uh, you still have my card I gave you, right? My heart beat hard. Um, why? Call me if you need me, okay? N -n need you? I asked. Desmond smiled. Yeah, like if you want to show me, or want me to show you around. We have a cool comic book store and a bike park. With a bike like yours, I know you ride. Back downstairs, Desmond left with his parents, but he couldn't stop thinking about those weird things he had done or what made me jump. Most of all, I couldn't stop wondering why he thought I would need him. Ah, chapter three, it's a bit of a cliffhanger. I wonder what he, what he was doing with the knocking. I don't know, we'll see. Chapter four, a hand in the night. Page 41. That night, we ordered pizza for dinner and had a picnic in the living, on the living room floor. Most of our plates were still in boxes, and we were too tired to find them. We'll save Mrs. Cole's lasagna for tomorrow, Mom said, and I secretly smiled. 
After dinner, I went to bed earlier than usual. As I walked into my bedroom, I tapped the wall like Desmond had done. Nothing happened. I laughed to myself. What did I think was going to happen? Then I heard it. Tap, tap, tap. I covered my mouth with my hand and stood still, listening hard. I waited, as stiff as a statue. But the wall was quiet. Finally, I let myself breathe again. It's just my imagination, I thought. Not only that, I was dog tired. I climbed into bed and read a few pages of my favorite book, but even that couldn't keep me awake. I fell fast asleep with the lights on. I was freezing when I woke up. My eyes popped open and I looked around the pitch black room. I wasn't even sure where I was at first. Then I remembered. I was in my new room. But why is it colder than outer space, I thought. And who turned off the lights? I blew out a huge breath of air, just like Desmond had done. In the darkness, my breath became fuzzy, white cloud that floated around my room. That's not right. So I did Desmond's next trick. I put my finger in my mouth and then held it up. Bright blue sparks shot out from my finger and shockwaves ran through my body. The lights started flashing by themselves and when I saw my reflection in the mirror, I looked like a bolt of lightning had hit my head. I sat there in bed, frozen with fear. That's when I heard a creaking sound coming from the walls. I dove under the covers. They were my only protection. Then something touched me. It was a hand. Andreas? Mom's voice was soft. I peeked from under the blanket and my heart skipped a beat. Mom was standing over my bed. She sat down. You were having a bad dream. She picked the book off my bed and put it on the night table. Then she leaned over and kissed me on the forehead. Go back to sleep and I'll turn off the light. Okay, I said. Good night, Mom. Good night, mi hijo. Sure, it's embarrassing that Mom had to tuck me in like a little kid. But after those crazy things happened, I did not mind at all. Oh my goodness, another cliffhanger. <gasps> hmm, I wonder what he thinks is going on. All right. Go ahead and do your extra worksheet online if you have time, and I will see you tomorrow.